swinging it around. And, and, but I wanted to tell them to leave that hammer. We had to do some remodeling around here. Leave that hammer here. <laughs> Isn't God good? Amen. Praise the Lord. God is so good. Well, let's pray. I could go home now and say I've been good to it in the house of the Lord. How about you? Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day that you've given us. Watch it over us and bring us back to the house of God today, Lord. We are here, Lord, to uplift you, Lord. The music was set that way, Lord, and we're so thankful for that this morning, Lord. And Father, Lord, as I get ready to bring a message this morning, Lord, I just ask you for your help. The Holy Spirit would help me. Thank you, Father, in advance for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you want to, you can turn to Ephesians, the first chapter, 1 through 14. We're just going to go right on to those scriptures this morning and look at that. Praise the Lord. Now, I notice you've probably seen a little sign coming in the door of our, we have masks around here. If you feel uncomfortable or you need to wear a mask, we have masks, lots of them, if you want to get one and wear them. Uh, I have some friends this morning, but they're sick, and I believe that if they had more masks, they would be sick. Uh, so I want them. I got, I got all them five senses, but I got an extra one too. I use from time to time. Common sense. Amen. If something will help me, I'm going to use that. Amen. So don't feel bad when you do something. God gives us wisdom to do things. Praise the Lord. But we're going to get through all of this, ain't we? Yes. We're going to make it. We're going to get through that. I believe that. I'm going to read these scriptures, and then we're going to come back and talk about them. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he has chosen us to him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, for he has made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he has abound towards us in all wisdom and prudence or understanding, having made un known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he has purchased in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of time he might gather together in all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are in earth, even in him, and whom we have attained in inheritance, been predestinated according to the purpose of him, who worketh all things out of the counsel of his own will. That we should be, uh, be to be praised of his glory who first trusted in Christ. In whom also, after that he heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, that he believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purpose, possession, and to the praise of his glory. What a beautiful greeting Paul brought to the church at Ephesus. And I, I want to I bring that to you. I'm going to copy what he says. He says, to the saints and to the faithful. That's you. Say, I'm a saint this morning. I'm a saint. Say, I'm faithful this morning. I'm faithful this morning. And he pronounces a beautiful blessing upon them at the very beginning. Upon all saints and all faithful people. Grace. He says, I bring you God's grace and his peace. That's what Paul said I brought to the church at Ephesus. And that's what I bring to you this morning, just like Paul did to his people. 
I bring you God's grace. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. And I bring you his peace. He says, I give you his peace this morning. With all the things that's happening in our life. Isn't that wonderful to know that we've got the grace of God upon us this morning? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And I have the peace this morning. Do you have the peace this morning? Now, a lot of people talk about the peace, but they haven't really experienced that peace. God wants us to experience that peace. Even, even in the pandemic that we're going through, God wants us to be able to experience that peace. Did you agree with that this morning? Amen. 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 I want us to get to that point, amen, that we can do that. These words are charged with so much rich blessing in them. Peace and grace. It's hard to understand all that's involved. Grace and peace upon us. And, and it's full. It's just really hard to understand it in its fullness. He addresses the letter to the saints. What is a saint? It's a down-to-earth, flesh and blood human being, who, first of all, who has been cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Have you been cleansed this morning? Amen. Amen. That's what a saint is. They have been renewed by the Holy Spirit, somebody who has not separated themselves from the world and been concentrated to God. That's what a saint is. Now, we may not be recognized as a saint in this world, but God Almighty recognizes as a saint of God this morning. Amen? Amen. Say, I'm a saint this morning. Oh, saint. You're a child of God this morning. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. You have the blood of Jesus Christ upon your heart. The book of Ephesians is continued uh, presenting to us what God has done and what he thinks of us and our tremendous position in Christ. You and I have a position this morning in Christ. I don't know if that means anything to you, but that really means a whole lot to me. If you get to study the scriptures, when you find out uh, that position that you have in Christ, I think sometimes we need to just come back and see that from time to time in our life, what God has done and who you are in Christ. It's looking at us from God's point of view instead of someone else's point of view. God looks at us different than the world looks at us, right? Yeah. Somebody else may look at you and see certain things, but God looks through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning and calls you holy. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That's hard to handle, isn't it? I'm holy this morning but through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. I'm righteous this morning. Through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. What is righteous man? I'm in right standing with God today. Amen. Amen. If he should come back today, I have nothing to worry about. Amen. Praise the Lord. All because of what Jesus has done for me. We're separated unto him, separated from the world, and he calls us saints. Paul starts out saying who we are, what God has done. What we have received, the riches of our position in Christ this morning. And he says, because of that, live a certain way. Christians live a certain way. Amen? Amen. You agree with that? Amen. He doesn't say, say, say start living a certain way before you accept Christ. But after you accept Christ, Christians live a certain way. Amen? Amen. And in the, in the church needs to hear about it. Amen. The whole church. You don't do it before you get saved. It's not something that you've earned or something that you can do. It's given to you by God. It's a gift from God this morning. Paul began by letting us know who we are in Christ. First of all, and then he says, now you can respond to all of that, what Christ has done for you. You know that you live in Christ. You can respond to that by living a certain way. Amen? Amen? Living a life that's pleasing to the Lord. We need to recognize the glorious, wonderful position God has made for us and how he looks at us. After the beautiful greeting that we just read, he, he calls, a, he calls a, when he calls the redeemed, the people of God, the saints, he's really going to go into the major theme of this chapter is that is our redemption. We have been redeemed this morning. Sung about that this morning, amen. Thank God for redemption, amen. amen. Have you been redeemed? Amen. Well, give the Lord a little praise, amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I've been redeemed, you've been redeemed this 
this morning. Isn't that wonderful? Praise the Lord. And it starts in, in verse uh, 3, chapter 1, with thanksgiving and praise for, for the God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit has done for us in redemption. What the Father has done in behalf of our redemption and what Jesus has done in behalf of our redemption and our salvation. And what the Holy Spirit has done and what the Holy Spirit is continuing to do in our lives. And again, let's look at verse 3 again. Verse 1, chapter 1. He says, first of all, he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. When you look at verse 3 again, notice the word heavenly places. Notice the word places is in that talents. Anytime in the King James Bible that you see a word that's in, in a talents, it means it wasn't originally there in the Greek. So you take away the word uh, places there. The word is saying God has blessed us with all spiritual things in the heavenly. That's what it really says in the Greek. God has blessed us with all spiritual things in the heaven. Does that sound powerful? Amen. And we wonder what really means, uh, what it means, Paul means by heavenly. First of all, he's talking about the heavenly is being in Christ. We are in Christ this morning, church. Amen. Praise the Lord. We move into a spiritual realm of the heavenly when we get in Christ. One of the Paul's favorite expressions for the Christians in the uh, New Testament is, we are in Christ. Say it with me. We, we are, are in Christ, Christ this morning. We're in the heaven. Amen. We are in Christ this morning. A new creation. And it's a new creation in Christ Jesus this morning. What he teaches us, if you are born again, if you're a child of God, if you believe in the gospel, that is an act of the divine power of God to place me and you in Christ this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And he looks upon the church as the body of Christ. He says, we are in Christ. Say it again. We, we are, are in Christ. Christ this morning. The church is in Christ this morning. As an individual this morning, you're in Christ. Now, that makes a lot of difference when you realize that you are in Christ this morning. That places you, first of all, in a spiritual realm. That's very important to understand that. The heaven is when you can operate and live at a level of living in the spirit. Amen. That's a higher level of living when you're living in the spirit world. Amen. In that realm. Beyond this world. Praise the Lord. And you do that because you are in Christ. You are in the Spirit this morning. And we ought to be rejoicing all the time because we live on a level of, of spiritual thinking, spiritual understanding. And all of that is because we are in Christ this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Makes a lot of difference when you pray, when you know that you're in Christ. Don't you? Amen. Amen. Makes a big difference. Makes a big difference when trouble and come, come, comes when you know that you're in Christ. Amen. Makes a world of difference this morning if you're in this pandemic, that we're in this, this COVID 19, but know that you're in Christ this morning. Amen. But Amen. Christ is going to be with us. Amen. Makes a big difference. I don't know how the world uh, manages to get through these things, but troubles and comes in life. Makes a lot of difference when you face the enemy. When you face conflict, when you know you're in Christ this morning. And this message this morning is just a simple message to remind us that we are in Christ. Amen. Amen. We're operating from a spiritual realm. Amen. Amen. We think different. We see different. God lets us see different. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He doesn't want us to be full of fear. Amen. I've always said this. Uh, fear is the difference, uh, is, is, is the distance between you and God. If you've got fear in this world, draw a little closer to God, and that fear will disappear. Amen. amen. It disappears because why? Because you know that God loves you. Amen. You've settled it in your heart. Amen. And perfect love will cast out all fear. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So fear is the distance between you and God. If it's not a lot of fear, draw nearer to God. And that fear will subside in your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. You believe that this morning? Mm -hmm. So when you're operating from a position 
being in Christ, then you know you're not standing alone. You're not facing life by yourself in your own strength this morning. We are not alone this morning. Amen. 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 Say, I'm not alone this morning. Amen. And some people need to hear that. Maybe I'm going to feed this morning. need to hear that. You feel like we're all alone this morning. I'm here to remind you this morning. If you are in Christ this morning, if you have the blood of Jesus Christ applied to your heart this morning, you are not alone in this world. Amen. And you'll never leave you alone. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. And I... And I would I would say that say this morning with this stuff that's going on, it's probably crossed by your mind, but you you you, you don't want to get that stuff. It's just hard to keep it from that. I'm telling you this morning, you're not alone this morning. Amen. Praise God. God's going to see us through it. Amen. Praise God. We're going to come out on the other side. What? Believing in God, shouting and praising God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise praise the Lord. Lord. It's living in Christ. He's living. Within, he does he does the fighting for us. He does the loving to us, and he gives us this all surpassing power of God that lives within us. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're this earthen vessel. We're this jar of clay. If you read over in Second Corinthians, the fourth chapter, but he said there's also a treasure inside of you. This all-surpassing power that lives inside of you, amen. You have power this morning, amen, to get through anything, amen. Somebody say, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to make it, amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. As I did Sunday night, I, I did, kind of did a message on that there Sunday night. I want to remind you this morning, even though that you have this power inside of you, it has to be renewed day by day, Amen. Not Sunday to Sunday, amen. We need to be refreshed in the spirit, amen, every day of our life, amen. Find time with God, amen. Renew yourself day by day. Jesus did that. He often, how did he do that? He would often, after a big meeting, all the pressure coming against him, all the people wanting their needs met, he would often pour off to himself and get along with his father, amen. What was he doing, amen? He knew the power that went out. Amen. Had to be renewed. Amen. And he got along with the Father. Amen. And he renewed that power. And when he came out of that lonely place with God. Amen. His Father. The power was back in him again. Amen. The move on into this life. Amen. So we renew our power. in This awesome passing power that's in us. Amen. We renew that day by day. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. How do you do that? To prayer and communication with your Father. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. So we have this power, amen. And you, and as long as you're aware of that, you're in Jesus Christ, you don't have to worry about things in this world. Just stay in that position, allow Him to live through you. Praise the Lord. Boy, what a wonderful time to testify uh, in our culture right now, right? There's a lot of fear, a lot of stuff going on. What a great opportunity to share uh, the goodness of Jesus Christ. Amen? Some people are afraid to testify because they think they have to testify about man. Well, get that. You don't, it ain't about you. Share something about Jesus. Amen? What he's doing. Amen. Sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe you may be going through a, a, a moment in your life where there's fear. It just, you, you may meet somebody that's fearful and say, this is what I did. You know, that fear came up on We're all humans. I don't care how religious you want to get. We're all humans. And sometimes this comes across our mind. And you can share how you dealt with that. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 1 and 20 says that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father in the heavens. That's where Christ dwells in the heavens, at the right hand of the Father. Ephesians 2 and 6, he talks about the people who have died out, out to sins in the world, have been risen with Christ, raised with Christ. We are in the heavens as well. Ephesians 3 and 10, he talks about the principalities and powers of this world. But they are able to look upon the manifold wisdom of God as it is represented by the people of God. They do this in the heavens. In that spiritual realm, 
They are a witness in the fact that God is doing something eternal and miraculous in the lives of his people. Is that wonderful? Aren't you glad that when God works out something beautiful in our life, there is a host of witnesses? Even the power of darkness has to look upon it. Amen? Amen. I, I, I'm one of my believers. I believe Satan gets so jealous when they see God blessing his people. Amen? Amen. I really do. I believe that's the we get attacked from time to time. God, he looks upon what God's doing to his wonderful people. Amen? He just blesses them. Amen? And he, he gets so jealous, so he just attacks them. But uh, we have the power of God to overcome them. Amen? Amen. Vision 6 says, we are told in the, in the heavens, in this place where spiritual forces and wickedness can be resisted and defeated by the people who are clothed by the whole armor of God. In this realm, get into a place of a war of our whole armor of God. You and I can resist. We can rebuke anything that comes against us. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. If the enemy is attacking you, your family, amen, it's time for you to just stand up and rebuke him and kick him out. Amen? amen. Praise the Lord. I want to remember, please, I, I, I share this many times. It's, it's good. I like to share it. I, I like to get to a point, you know, when the devil comes in our neighborhood and he wants to mess up our neighborhood and he gets in my driveway or your driveway, amen, and he looks up and says, no, 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 I'm not going up that driveway. That, that person there knows God and he's getting ready to cast me out and I'm tired of getting kicked down the hill, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Let him go on somewhere else. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This one I want you to think in terms that God has prepared for you to operate in the spiritual realm. And this is far above the things of the earth. We need to learn to do that. Amen. Praise the Lord. And when you operate there, you come to the uh, full realization of what you are in Christ. That brings power brings peace, that brings stability in your life. It brings faith, it brings strength, it brings love. It takes away fear, worry, and places you feet up on a solid rock. Faith in God this morning. And that's where we want to stay, amen. Praise the Lord. The second thing the Father does in, in regard to our salvation and redemption, he chose us before the foundations of the world. How about that? God chose us in Christ Jesus before the world began. He had this plan. And this is to say Jesus' death was not a tragedy as we often think of it. This was God's divine plan before the world even existed that he would send his son into this world to die on the cross for our sins and we would be redeemed. Amen. Amen. Brought back into fellowship with him. Amen. Isn't that wonderful this morning? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the next time we have a Lord's Supper, amen, we don't have to feel sad about that, amen. We ought to celebrate because of life that has come through Jesus Christ, amen. We have life this morning, amen. We do that in remembrance of what Jesus has done for us upon the cross, amen. He's not defeated. He said it at the right hand of the Father this morning, making intercession for you and I this morning. We celebrate that victory in Jesus this morning. Amen. While we come to church and sing, we come to celebrate Jesus, amen. He's alive this morning, and because he's alive this morning, I'm alive this morning, amen. Have abundance of life, overflow. Because I recognize I'm in Christ this morning. I operate from the spiritual realm, amen. Not from this world. Praise the Lord. He chose us to be holy without blame before Him in love. I like that position, don't you? Amen. And I love the conditions that we express. God chose us to be holy. And without blame. And we can't do that on our own. Amen. We only do that because we are in Christ this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen a time in the world where people wants to lay blame on someone else? We live in that culture. I always 
putting people on gift trips. Hard to sit the way they are. God doesn't work on that kind of level. Amen. Aren't you glad of that? He said, I am choosing you to be holy where you will be without blame before him. Amen. And that's what counts this morning. Amen. Is that we stand before him without blame. Amen. Amen. And we do that this morning, not on our own, but through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is that wonderful? Amen. Praise the Lord. He's the one that we'll give an account to. Doesn't matter what people say, as long as our conscience this morning are clear between God. Amen. Everything's been settled. I'm in Christ this morning. Praise the Lord. Because standing for him unblameable because you are in Christ, he accepts you in his beloved. Is that wonderful? Another thing the Father does in our redemption, our salvation, is, is he predestinated or ordained us. That means that God ordained us unto the adoption as his children. Praise the Lord. God says, I'm going to look down on the human race and I'm going to adopt them. Is that wonderful? Yeah, they messed up. They, they sinned and everything. But I'm going to adopt them. Listen, adoption is a very important thing. Adoption is, if someone adopts you, that means they really chose you. They, they want you into their family. I think adoption is wonderful. You see a lot of signs, you know, adoption, you want to adopt a child, you can't. I think that's wonderful. You're saying, I really want you into my family. That's what, that's what God did. Amen. He adopted. He said, I want you in my family. And when you get into my family, you become just as my child. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. I'm a child of God. Whatever he has is available to me this morning. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. You are a child of God. You've been adopted. He loves you. He wants you into his family. Praise the Lord. Are you adopted this morning? Yeah. You've been adopted right into the family. All the influence, all the money I have, everything that I have belongs to you. We know that Jesus is heir of everything, but he, Jesus said, I want you to be part of it. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Everything that we need, we have it in Christ this morning. Amen? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You're a part of the family this morning. And some people get to that point, they don't feel like they're a part of nobody's family. I'm here to tell you this morning, you, if you are saved this morning, you accepted Jesus, you are part of the greatest family that ever was. Amen. Amen. You are God's family. Amen. Amen. You're going to like nothing. God's going to provide for you. Amen. Amen. You believe that this morning? Amen. Praise the Lord. You are in the family of God. Been adopted right in there. Praise the Lord. And it wasn't no accident. He chose you. Praise the Lord. That's what he did. He ordained us to be adopted sons and daughters into the glorious family of God, into his kingdom. Now, in the New Testament, it is silent about predestination in regard to lost people. Isn't that wonderful? You know what that really means? That means God didn't come to save some and some to be lost. Everyone has an opportunity Amen. to walk right into the family of God. Amen. 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 Is that wonderful? Amen. It doesn't damn anyone. Amen. If anyone goes to hell, they go on their own. Amen. They walk over the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Does that make you feel good this morning? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. No one. He doesn't damn anyone. He wants us all to be blessed. Predestination has to do with God's plan, the big plan. He had before the world was and was going to have a people that would love and choose and adopt his family's sons and daughters, and he would accept them because they are in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. So I'm accepted this morning. Here's the fourth point God says in the text that we use today. He said, he has made us accepted in the beloved. To be accepted, many people spend their whole life trying to be accepted. 
Especially in the culture that we live today, and everybody trying to do everything just to be accepted in the group. Especially our young people, I mean, they'll do everything to be accepted into that pure group that they're in. They'll buy certain shoes and clothes and do everything just to be accepted. And grown ups all that way because they feel like they're not accepted. But I'm here to tell you this morning: you are accepted by God this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Quit spending all your money trying to be accepted by this and by that. You are accepted into the kingdom of God through the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Praise the Lord. Some people live in isolation and fear. They don't want to get around people that are afraid they're going to be rejected. And that's a lot of them. A lot of them out there. They don't want to be around anyone. They feel just rejected. Nobody will accept them. I'm going to remind you this morning. If you are that place this morning, if you're listening on feet, you are accepted. You are his beloved this morning. You are in the family of God. I don't care what you look like or what you, whatever you think that's wrong with you. God accepts you this morning. You are his, his beloved. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Now it'll make a shout. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Boy, you're quiet. That's good. You're sinking in this morning. God the Father accepts you. Even with all your faults. Preacher, I don't have any faults. Well, you just made one. You just lied. <laughs> right? We all have faults. In spite of all of that, I'm accepted. What does that mean? I have God's favor upon my life. Amen? Amen. Say, I have God's favor upon my life. I, I thought it was just that religious person had God's favor. If you have been adopted into the family of God, you have God's favor upon your life. Amen? Amen? Amen. What does the scripture say? If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. That's the favor of God upon your life. Praise the Lord. Say, I have the favor of God upon my life. Do you really believe that? Yes. Have you experienced that? Yes. You, need to, you need to experience that. God's favor upon your life this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. And what I'm trying to say is, I'm in this morning. I'm in. I'm not standing on the outside looking into the window and hoping for God's blessings. I know this morning I am in. Accept one another this morning, amen. Who are in Christ with that kind of love that God shows us. Everyone in here this morning, you'll accept it. And everyone in here this morning ought to feel like that you'll accept it when you come to the Marine Church of God. You're not, you're not out, you're in. Right. Yeah. We're one big family of God, amen. We're just a small part here at the Marine Church of God. He has a big church, but we're all in, amen. Over the years, I've seen people come into church and they just they try to isolate themselves from different people. Amen. I'm telling you this morning, you don't have to do that. We're in this morning. You're in this morning. That's right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Doesn't matter who you are. Praise the Lord. Is that wonderful? Amen. Let's just thank God for receiving us this morning. Amen. Amen. Would you thank Him, our thank you, Lord, for receiving us this morning? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for accepting us this morning. Thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ this morning. That's made it possible, amen, that we're in this morning. Glory to God. Glory to God. Paul moves on and talks about the work of his son in our redemption. First thing he says, he has paid the price for our redemption. That's all I can boast about this morning. 
is what Jesus has done for me. Amen. Praise the Lord. And the first thing he says, he paid the price. He paid the price. That's what redemption means. Bind us back to God. He has redeemed us through his blood. We have been forgiven through his blood. And that ought to give us something to praise the Lord for every day. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I've been redeemed. I think of this great big. How many likes to go to auctions? You ever like to go to auctions? Sometimes I like to go to auction. You see them bid off bids and bid out. I, I think of, of the whole human race when they're standing, uh, standing there condemned, cursed, no way out. Nobody was bidding upon. And I just picture Jesus stepping out. He says, I'll buy them back. Amen. Yeah, they're condemned. They're condemned. They're lost. I'm not even going to try to jew you down on your price. I'm going to give you the ultimate price. I'm going to give my life for them. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. What an auction that was. I'm going to buy them back. I'm going to give my life upon an old rugged cross for them. Amen. I'm going to bring them back in fellowship with my father. Amen. And they're going to have a life. Praise the Lord. Isn't that wonderful this morning? Yes. Jesus said that. He bought you back this morning. He redeemed you this morning. Yes, he, does. he did it all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So when you look at a person that's been bought back by the blood of Jesus Christ, you're looking at a person of value. Amen. You look around each one of us this morning. We are people of value this morning. How valuable it was you, 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 Jesus gave his life for you. That's how valuable you are this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He gave the supreme price. He pours his own blood out for you and I this morning. Praise the Lord. Jesus prayed the Christ with his own blood. He brings forgiveness. What a wonderful, sweet, marvelous word. The word forgiveness. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Say it with me. Forgiven. Forgiveness. Oh, what a sweet word that is this morning. I have been forgiven. Hallelujah. Yes. All the things that I've done. God says, I see by all that you've done. Everything that you've done, you, you went against me, you transgressed against my law, you did all of that. And in spite of all of that this morning, through my son's blood this morning, that is shed upon the cross this morning, you are forgiven. Amen. Amen. I'm forgiven this morning, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. I've got something to be thankful for this morning, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm forgiven this morning. Praise the Lord. Is that wonderful? Yes. It's all clear this morning. I've been justified. Is that wonderful? Amen. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ this morning, amen. You stand right in God's sight. Is that wonderful? Amen. Have you heard sometimes you're praying or you're going through the week and sometimes you just get to thinking one day but you'll stand before the Lord? Is that is that a, is that a Awesome thought that you stand before your maker one day. And, and sometimes if you're not careful, you're going to run across that little chill. Chill will run across you, man. I'm going to stand before God one day. And, 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 but you get to thinking, amen. Oh, I'm going to be all right because of the blood of Jesus Christ is on my heart, amen. I'll stand before him clean with a clean conscience, amen. And you're going to hear him say, welcome home, my good and faithful servant, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Is that wonderful this morning? Yeah. We're talking about Jesus this morning. Praise the Lord. He's the center of everything. Praise God. Christ did something else. He made known unto us a great mystery of his will. And is that that one day he would head up all things in heaven and earth. Did you know that? Jesus Christ will head up all things. He is head he is in charge. He is Lord. Yes. 
The scripture says, let every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And this morning, I'm going to declare it this morning on my knees this morning. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Now, let's stand with me this morning. Jesus Christ is Lord. I'm not going to wait for that day. I'm going to declare it today. Jesus Christ is is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything in heaven and earth is going to come under that rule. Amen. Amen. That's the great mystery. It's coming. He's the center of all things. By him all things exist and hold together in the heavens and on earth. He's the center of all things. Praise the Lord. Something else is made possible to us to entertain an inheritance. Jesus is the Son of God. He is our God, heir of all things. But Jesus says, I want to share this with all my people who are redeemed. How many wants to share heaven with Jesus? Amen. And everything that belongs to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I may not be rich right now, you know, physically and in this world, but really I am rich. I'm joining ours with Christ this morning, and everything belongs to him, and if it belongs to him, he said, I'm going to share it with those who have been redeemed, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's coming. It's coming. He makes his joint ours, and he says, I'm securing it for you an inheritance. Praise the Lord. I hear some people know he gets a great inheritance. Somebody will leave it to him and they're all excited. But I'm telling you right now, I've got an inheritance coming. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now let's look at what the work of the Holy Spirit does. He is a part of me bringing our redemption and guaranteeing our inheritance. So we see the Father this morning, what he does in our, in our salvation and what the Son did. And now this is what the Holy Spirit does. He has a part in it. First of all, he seals us as the property of God. That's what the sealing of the Holy Spirit means. That the man in charge, the owner, stamps a seal on a possession upon what he owns, he purchased and redeemed. You and I this morning have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wow! I've been sealed this morning. Yeah. Jesus went away, but he's coming back, and he'll recognize me when he gets back. I'm God's property. There's a seal upon me. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. I like when I walk through Marine, amen, and I'm praying in the streets and, and the different things, amen, and nobody, you know, may not know me or whatever, you know, but you know those demons in hell, Demons here in Smith County, they know who I am. How do they know who you are, Arthur? I have been sealed, amen. And they see that seal, amen. That's God's property walking to the town praying, amen. amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Somebody say, Praise the Lord. Praise I think we live way down here too long. We live, we, we live in a spiritual realm, amen. That's right. Praise God. Well, I'm more than a conqueror this morning. How about you? Amen. amen. Praise God. I'm more of an overcomer. Amen. Yes, right. Praise God. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. So I've been sealed this morning. Praise God. Puts a stamp up on me. I belong to God this morning. Don't mess with me. I belong to God this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I give myself to God to rule over by the Spirit. To be led and directed by the Spirit. I belong to him. I give myself to God. That's what he talks about. Do not quench the spirit of grieving the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's because he knows if we grieve him, we want the Holy Spirit moving and operating in our life. Amen. Because when the Spirit is working in our life, he'll purge out all sin. He'll purge it all out and help us become more like Christ. Amen. And sometimes we grieve that and we quench the Spirit when he wants to work in our life. Amen. And God has sent the Spirit to do that. That's Him working now in our life. Praise the Lord. You get full of the Spirit, you tell the world, I don't belong to myself. I belong to God this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is called the earnest of our inheritance. Earnest means the guarantee. 
the down payment. In the business world, we use earnest money. You put up earnest money on a house, means if you don't go through with the deal, you lose that money. It's a guarantee you're coming through with the contract and the deal when you put up earnest money. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. God is saying, I give you my seal. I give you the Holy Spirit. That is the guarantee that I'm coming to with the rest of the deal. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What's the rest of the deal? I'm, he's coming back to get me. Amen. Amen. I'm his child. And I'm going to live with him forever. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Now, this is what I... I I'm feeling a little different up here, God. Now I got a picture of heaven this morning, amen. I'm going to live with him forever, amen. I'm going to come back and read upon this word, earth, amen, as kings and kings and priests and priests, amen. I got a job to do, God. God is preparing us for that, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Coming back, is it? Got a guarantee. I'm going to fulfill what I said. Praise the Lord. Your inheritance is sure because I've given you the damn payment. The guarantee that it is a power of the Holy Spirit in your life. And every one of us has the Holy Spirit living within us. Amen. Is, amen. 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 So you want to know what the inheritance is like that you're going to inherit? You come to the fullness of the Spirit in your life. You'll get a little taste of it. Amen. Praise the Lord. If you live with a live in the spirit, amen, operating in the spirit, you're going to get a little touch of heaven here on earth, amen. amen. Things can be falling apart every which way, but you're living in the heavenly realm, amen. You think different. You don't think like the world. The spirit helps you to see, amen. Praise the Lord. Probably a lot of the world feels like we ain't going to make it out of it. But I live in the spiritual realm, and God says we're going to make it. Yeah. Amen. We're going to come out on the other side. Amen. More powerful than we were when we went in. Amen. You believe that this morning. If you believe that this morning, give the Lord some praise. If you believe this morning, give the Lord some praise. That's what we're here for. He's the center of everything. Give him praise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Isn't God good? Amen. Praise the Lord. You're accepted this morning. You're chosen this morning. You've been redeemed this morning. You have a guarantee of eternal life this morning. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. He says, I'm now paying you right now in the power of the Holy Spirit. That all surpassing power that's living within you, that, that, that you're living part of that right now. Amen. Amen? Amen. Do you have the power of God in you this morning? Amen. Are you going to make it this week? Amen. Whatever comes your way, you're going to make it? Yes. That's a guarantee. That's a power of the Holy Spirit living within you. Amen. You're going to meet people that's down, and you're going to be able to encourage them. You explain to them who lives inside of you this morning, the Holy Spirit. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. That's the guarantee you have. God says this morning, I'll back up everything I give you. Everything that I said in the Word of God, I'll back it up. I'll back it up. You just step out on it, amen. And believe it, amen. Praise God. You only receive what you believe, not what you say. A lot of people, I hear a lot of people say things. You're only going to receive what you believe in this word. And you apply it to your life. Praise the Lord. He says, I can walk through the enemy camp, amen and take back everything that is stole from me, I can do it. Yeah. Amen? Amen? If he says he'll protect me, he'll protect me. Yeah. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Amen. Scripture says he, the, he is the Lord that heals all my diseases. Amen. You believe that this morning? Yeah. Praise the Lord. He's my Lord. And he'll heal all my diseases. Amen. This morning. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, I've come to an end. But I've enjoyed it today. And I just want to preach you a simple message this morning about Jesus. Because he's the center of all things. If we take him out, we don't have nothing but a bed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I like the anointed singing again this morning. Wasn't that good? Amen. Praise the Lord. The anointed singing like it every day. A lot of rejoicing. 
Praise the Lord. Let's give him another little hand. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I don't want to go home. I, I, I like being with y'all. Amen. Pastor, uh, y'all stand in for a special prayer for my aunt. It's yeah. my mom's baby yes. sister. Apparently, she's taking a turn for the worse. Okay. She's on a ventilator. She is. She's on a ventilator. And somebody come stand in for Buddy. Buddy Adillo. I may love Billy, Buddy Adillo again. Amen. Amen. He has cancer. And we want to pray for him this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, cancer is. We well, about so I didn't know we had one, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, somebody come stand in for him this morning. Absolutely, because I, I was just thinking about it. God did it once. Lucas, just come on and help pray. He did it once. He healed it one other time, didn't he? He had cancer before. Yes. Took care of that. 